Hello, this is a, a really slowly done chalk drawing. I, I think I just enjoyed doing the colours so much, I took my time. I've sped it up loads, to be honest. It's of a black hole and a, a massive blue star, and it's in the constellation Cygnus. Uh, so if you imagine, uh, if you've got Deneb's the swan's tail and uh, Alberio's the, the head of the swan, it's this pointy beak bit. It's about halfway down the swan's neck. And it, it's an observed, it's one of the earliest stars. They thought, ah, this, this is probably a black hole because it's such an awful lot of X-ray coming off it. It's Cygnus X1, that is. Uh, but in, in game, it is referred to as V1357 Cygni. And I went there the other year and uh, it was very pretty. <laughs> I went there and strutted around in my scorch cutter. It was looking a little bit paint scratch, but not too bad. I love the scorch paint. It's just, you can you can put it in front of some really good sights, <laughs> some really amazing sights. I enjoyed uh, arranging this picture to put the black hole and distort the, the purpley blueness of that of that star. Uh, it's a binary in, in the real world, they think. And uh, apparently uh, back in 1975, according to Wikipedia, <laughs> Uh, Stephen Hawking uh, had a bit of a bet that it wasn't, but he, he, he conceded uh, a couple of decades later when everyone said, ah, it is. He said, oh yeah, it probably is. I'm sure that there was more, there was more scientific discussion than I am giving them all credit for. There's, uh, suggests that there's possibly uh, an accretion disk around it, I think. But uh, that's not shown in game. Although I really like the lensing effect, to be honest. I enjoy that lensing effect. I'm sure you can always improve anything, but they've done a lovely job with the way that you, you, it does make your stomach turn when you pass by something that's... <laughs> yeah, it's really cool. Um, in game, there's, uh, there's a little high metal planet in this system as well. I can't remember where they landed on it, but I am inclined to think that it might have either been too hot or too heavy to land on, possibly. Uh, I can't remember. I, I could check my logs, to be honest. Okay, I did check my logs. I did not put down on the planet, so I'm guessing I couldn't. Uh, looking back, uh, I then went to system blue far ml hyphen e b forty one hyphen zero, which is, I'm sure, thrilling for everyone to know. I was out exploring for quite a while. I do enjoy exploring. I'd, I'd not done it for a while, and you know that kind of like itch in the back of your mind. You think, ah, oh, I could go off exploring. To be honest, I, my my main commander, Beetle Dude, is out in Colonia. I could just, within a few jumps, be out in uncharted territory. But there's so much going on in the bubble. I kind of, I just, yeah, I just don't want to leave too much. Especially, especially at the moment with. Um, the Thargoids and the, the ongoing storyline uh, happening and, and developing the way it is. There's always something more important that I need to do and get. And, and now I'm thinking my Alt Commander, which I seem to be playing on all the time because it's in the bubble. Uh, I think, oh, well, actually, I, I probably need to go and get some uh, Guardian Blueprints for that. So now I've just started using that one as my main, even though my poor, languishing, steadfast original commanders out there in Colonia unloved. Perhaps I should just bring her back and then and then swap places. I only brought my out back to the bubble to get all the engineers before sending it off again. Anyway, I'm wittering at you, sorry. Um, yeah, this this I, I I love I love doing this with the chalks and everything. And I spent ages tweaking at the uh, other different lines. Uh, there's a decal on the top of this ship that I haven't drawn, which I quite liked it, but I thought it was it, that it might detract from the final image because I didn't want it to all be about one printed on decal on the top of the cutter. I wanted it to be about the, the lensing and the funny shapes, the, the triangles and the circles of it all, and the, the green and the orange and the blue, because that was what I liked about the original picture. Anyway, uh, I, I've sold this. I sold it. <laughs> it went for 40 quid in an auction. And actually then, it, the fella that bought it threw another tenor at it just because he was lovely and uh, that's that's now gone off to special effects so they've got that now uh, and the special effects is a charity that i tend to support when i do stuff because uh, they enable people to play computer games which i enjoy doing myself the convention where uh, I, I i sold these pictures and and this one uh, is leave con i've been going a few years and i've got to the stage where i'm running out of different hair colors to use now 
I've used all the good ones. I'm stuck with yellow now, I think, next year. She's going to be a bit grim. <laughs> I, I, I really enjoyed seeing everyone. And a lot of people, I, I, I probably am only going to see them at a, an elite gaming convention, to be honest. Because uh, everyone lives so far apart. I mean, people have come over on planes. So it was really good. And <laughs> and thankfully, I don't appear to have got COVID, which is, which is a bonus. Um, Oh god! I've just been looking at the uh, the screenshots I took around the time I was up there, and I've taken an absolute shed load of pictures of that blue star shining through the waves of the black hole. I've I've clearly had a, a great odd time. This is quite a while back. I mean, this is before Odyssey. I took these shots. I, I used to like trying to do that to capture the moment that everything went boom. And and yes, I can see that's me making that jump to the next system along, which is Blothar ML. You know the one. Anyway, and that is uh, 47.5 light years away, uh, which was probably about as good as I could do in this cutter. I certainly went quite a long way. I did go to loads of places. I went to Black and Green, and I went to the Great Annihilator, and I went to Colonia. It was great, the cutter was, for showing off out there. <laughs> not necessarily getting there fast, but you don't want to when you're exploring. That's not the point. Any, anyway, I, I think I've probably said enough. Uh, thank you for watching me, saying enough. <laughs> Bye.